Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and early. It's 9 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I was just on my way out the door right now. I was just on my way to go take a bike ride. And uh, something happened on my walk earlier this morning about three hours ago. And it's got me thinking. Um, it's something I want to talk about. So I decided to make this video right now before I lost any of my, my, my train of thought. Okay, first I'm going to talk about what happened, the, the, uh, the occurrence, what happened this morning. Then I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about my train of thought as it happened. And then the importance of, even though it seems like a little, you know, a non-event, you know, something that's really not just ridiculously small, but there's a much bigger picture here. And I screwed up. I didn't even realize that I screwed up. All right, what am I talking about? So this morning I go on a walk, my usual walk. It's about 6.30 a.m., and I'm walking, I run into the same people usually, you know, say hello, everybody else, people are walking their dogs and whatnot. And I ran into a black gentleman that I see pretty much every morning. He's older than me, he's probably about 65, I'd say, 65, maybe 70, good shape. And he was out walking his Rottweiler and I see him very often every morning and we joke around. And as I saw him, I was walking up, catching up behind him. I looked down and there was a baggie on the sidewalk. And I could see that it was filled with a, it was a, a dime, what they call a dime, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, I'll get to that more in a second. And it's filled with a, a green leafy substance. Here's, here's where I didn't even realize that I screwed up. Um, I looked down and I think I know what this is. So the, the gentleman's walking ahead of me, letting his dog do his business, and I pick it up. And I look at it, and I start, you know, I kind of laugh to myself. Oh, somebody dropped this. And the gentleman turned back and looked at me, and I said, you know, look, look what I found. And I said, I don't smoke. You know, do you want it? And he said, no, no, no. I said, I don't, I don't smoke either. And then he started, he, he kidded around. He says, somebody's probably really ticked off that they lost their dime bag. You know, we both kind of laughed. And... I started walking and I'm looking at it trying to figure, you know, what's, I'll tell you, I'll talk, talk about that next, my train of thought. And I tossed it down on the sidewalk and kept walking and that, that was it. Uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Why am I talking about this? You know, so what? All right. My train of thought and see this, this reminds me that I'm always in recovery. Uh, let me fill you guys in on the way I the way I looked at this. When I looked down and saw that, I even though I, I don't have any urge like smoking that smoking green wasn't my thing really. I was you know I was into the more harder the harder stuff like rock like you know like that, and it makes me realize now that I'm lucky that that's what it it what it, it wasn't that. So when I look down, I think one of the things I realized too is it's got value to it. You look down and it's almost like money or a wallet, but it's, you know, it's not, you know. So I, I don't know. There's that little devil that pops up on my shoulder. And so I pick it up you know, and, and I screwed up right there. I didn't even realize this till like an hour or two later. And I was thinking about making this video and I'm going to talk about that more in a second. But it's, I realized, you know, I, I screwed up right there. I should have never even picked this up. If this had been something else like rock and I picked this up, it, it would have put me that much closer to a bad situation. Um, in my head, a lot of things were going through my head. I thought about doing, you know, a possible, oh, I could maybe talk about this in a YouTube channel. So I was thought, thinking about bringing it home. Like it might have some value. Even though I really, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't thinking of using it, but I was considering putting it in my pocket and bringing it home. Maybe sometime in the future. Uh, I, this has happened to me before. I did a video where I found a bottle full of prescriptions, but that's not what this is about. Um, and that little voice is saying, you know, take it with you. You know, it's got value. Maybe you could use it somewhere down the line. You know, even if I'm not going to smoke it, maybe I could use it somewhere down the line. And, you know, I realized right at that moment that this is what I, I asked myself. Can any good come of this? Really, me picking this up and taking it home, could any good come of this? And then a few paranoid, not, maybe not paranoid, but other thoughts went through my head. Like, you know, people know I walk this same route for the last couple of years. What if somebody put this here? What if somebody's watching me? Uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a far, it's probably, it probably wasn't happening, but who knows? Or what if there was something mixed in with it? 
Uh, that's another thought too. Even though I wasn't going to use it, maybe that, that could have been the situation too. So I ended up throwing it on the ground. And then I got about, uh, I don't know, I got about maybe three, 400 yards up the street. And I started realizing, I was like, I felt, I didn't know what to do with it really at that point. I should have never picked it up because after I threw it down, I was like, well, that guy is walking his dog and I'm sure he doesn't want his dog, you know, sniffing and eating this. Um, you know, so I kind of felt bad about tossing it on the ground right there. I think I did that just, uh, part of me was just to, for, I don't want to say for show, but knowing that the guy was watching me, you know, I, it's like, I just threw it on the ground. I, I don't know. I should have never picked it up. I realized that no good could have come of that. Like I said, part of me says that, you know, it thinks that it's like, it's got value. Even if I'm not going to use it, there's some value to it. It's worth money or something down, you know? And it's, it's far more trouble than any kind of money, five or 10 bucks that it could be worth. Okay, this is the point I wanted to make. People ask me, you know, how have you done it? How have you stayed in recovery? How have you stayed clean and sober for 16 and a half years? Because it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Not many people are able to do it. And this is the answer right here. You, got to ha you have to have a, a mindset for when these things happen. When sooner or later, you're going to walk up or people are pull-ups, either people or substances like this are just going to pop up in front of you. It's happened to me before where I came across uh, like three or four guys in a car that all knew me. It was early in the morning and I'm sure they were using, they were sitting in the parking lot and they were like, hey Daryl, come on over. You know, and right at that moment, you have to have this in your head. You have to, you have to think about this ahead of time. What am I going to do when this happens? Or you see a bag, especially like what if that bag was full of rock? And I looked down, you know, you got to have that. And I, I, I screwed up by picking this thing up. I realized that now I failed my own advice, you know, so let this be this is actually a learning, a learning moment uh, for me and hopefully for people watching this that are in recovery. But you got to have that in your head because when you stall, when you just stand there and, and, and let the seconds go by, it becomes that much more likely that you're, you're not going to do the right thing. You know, like if I had walked up to that car with the three or four of my buddies in it, they're like, hey, Daryl, come on over. And I look down and I see what they're doing. You know, at that point, it gets harder and harder and harder to walk away from that. Nothing good could come of this. It, just turn around and walk away. No excuses, no reasons, no debates. You know, if people, th these people aren't your friends either. I've done videos about this. You know, I used to do this. When I knew somebody was in recovery and had been clean for a while, I would try to get them to use because I know they would have money on them. I, I could use their money because I know they'd have been, they would have been clean for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and they would have been able to save up money and I want to use them. That's the kind of, that's what addicts do. I'm not proud of saying that, but that's what I did. I've done it before. And, you know, if, if this happens to somebody that's watching this, if you're in recovery, you know, and you might feel bad. You know, they're my buddies. They're my friends. I can't just walk away, man. You know, yes, yes. You know, it, it, the most important thing that you have is is at danger here. You know, it, who you know who cares if you, if they if they think you know that you're rude or 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 whatever. I mean, the, more than likely they're just they're just looking to use you because I know that's what I did. That's what I, other people. That's what addicts do. Uh, you got to ask yourself, and I ask myself, what good could come of this? And just walk away, turn over, you know, don't just, you have to have this pre-programmed in your head. Because when that moment comes up, it just, for every second that goes by, it's more and more likely that, you, you know, you end up making the wrong choice. That's, I really believe that. So I was all set to do this video and talk about this. And it hadn't even occurred to me, you know, like in my head, I'm like, well, I did the right thing. I threw it down and walked away. And until about like two hours ago, it hadn't even occurred to me that I actually did the wrong thing. I screwed up. I didn't take my own advice. I should have. Why did I pick that up? You know, there was no, no good could come of that. I should have had that pre-programmed in my head, regardless of what it is. I looked down. I knew that it was drugs. I, at that moment, I should have just walked away. You know, because it part of, part of me was saying, well, because it, it looked like the guy in front of me might have possibly dropped it. You know, so I'm being a good guy and saying, you know, here, did you drop this? You know, and that's, you know, my, you know, that's the little, the little voice that addict trying to make up excuses. 
I could have just pointed to it and said, hey, excuse me, did you, you know, and point down to the ground. I didn't have to pick it up. That was a mistake. I, I, you know, and thank God it wasn't rock because it would have made it all that much harder for me because that was my, one of my drugs of choice. And once that was in my hand and I'm looking at it, plus in my head, it, I'm thinking, you know, it is worth more, you know, and it's all that much easier to make up an excuse. Well, I'm not going to use it, but I'll take it home. Or I don't want kids to eat it or, or an animal to, you know. It's amazing the excuses that addict mentality will make up and whisper in your ear as to reasons, you know, why you should take this home or why you should pick it up. Um, yeah, I, I screwed up. I should have never picked this up, even though I did throw it back down and walked away from it. I should have never picked it up in the first place. So it's a learning It's a learning lesson for me next time you know I, you got to stay sharp this is you know 16 and a half years have gone by and i get comfortable in recovery sometimes you know and it's it's easy not to to, to start to forget so to not take my own advice so i i should have just walked i should just as soon as i knew what it was just walk away from it what good did come of this none no good no good whatsoever on the contrary more than likely, it could lead to, to the end of my life. More than likely. All right. I, I hope you guys, I, I hope somebody understands what I was saying. And it's not a lecture because I, I, I screwed up myself. Uh, uh, recovery is possible. I'm going to go get on my bike. You guys have a great Tuesday.